guys, it's Catherine and welcome to my 2018 journal flip through for this massive thing that I have created over the past year. Uh, last year in 2017, I did a journal flip through for this baby. So if you haven't seen that, if you haven't, you know, been asking me all year for a, another journal flip through because of this journal flip through that you saw, you can go and check out that video, which I'll have linked down below. I'll also have a playlist of all of my journal with me's that I created this year through this journal. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking me to do a flip through for this, if I'm doing a flip through for this, and the answer was always yes, but um, the year had to finish first. So uh, this year I'm bringing you the flip through as the year has ended. My other flip through literally took forever, but you guys probably don't care. So you probably just really wanna see what's inside this journal. So let us get into this journal. Um, this is my journal for 2017. I didn't know what to call this journal, like the type of journaling that I do in my last video, honestly. I got a lot of good suggestions, but I really don't care anymore about what to call it. It's just my journal. I just do what I want in here. This journal that I used for 2018 is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I picked up when I was there in like 2015. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. But I picked this up then. Um, this is Ravenclaw because I'm a Ravenclaw. Uh, I didn't choose this and I don't choose any of my journals for any particular quality reason like pertaining to like oh good paper or it's gonna like withhold um what i do to journals it, this one you know the spine didn't really i just chose it because i had it it's what i had and i also really love harry potter 2017 was also harry potter 2019 a little spoiler here is also going to be harry potter so so this immediately as i started the first two pages was already becoming very stuffed it's just how i journal and there was also a bunch of empty pages in the back that i tore out because it was just making it way too hard to actually journal in it by the end of the journal and um also i just didn't want to waste all that paper because i do my journals by year and i didn't want to waste all that paper so yeah i'm gonna reuse it for something else let us get into the actual journal now um like i said i got this at the wizarding world of harry potter and when you like walk out of the store that I bought this in, they had like a person to like stamp whatever you wanted. So I stamped my journal. The first page, like always, has my name and the year. Um, this actually had writing on it because I was gonna use this journal for something else, but I just never used it. So decided to use it for this purpose. So I just covered it with a piece of like craft paper. So in my journals, I usually separate them by month kind of. So I always have a title page for the beginning of the month. And here is January. It's a very cosmic looking spread. This I'm reusing from my calendar that I had for 2017. It's from Rifle Paper Co. I just decided to reuse that. Didn't want it to go to waste. And then I also found a month that you know lined up with this january 2018's setup and then we have my full moons of 2018 i wanted to have it in the beginning of my journal so that i could easily find it um and it kind of got a little bit messed up from another page where the watercolors leaked through but whatever it's fine but basically how i did with all of these i used watered down acrylics on cardboard to make all these different moons and then i wrote down all of the different moons and whatnot so moving on the year before in 2017 i had a polaroid of my dog on the first of january and so i thought i would continue that and do it again this year and then it was also the wolf moon on january 1st and i love full moons the moon is a very special thing to me so as you will see throughout this journal very moon moon child related things going on and i also read my tarots and i took a really dumb polaroid of the moon i didn't think that it would turn out good but i took it anyways and i just i honestly don't know um next up we have my january tbr if you don't follow any of my book content and if you don't understand what this is a tbr is basically a list of books that you want to read and you can do them like monthly seasonally whatever so this is my list of books tbr to be read for january did i read any of these during january no so really achieving a lot this page not gonna lie, I don't like it anymore, but I don't even think I liked it after I did it, but you live and you learn, you know? These are all kind of like little doodles of me, I suppose. That is a terrible looking map of Belize down there. <laughs> like what even? And I have no idea what that is. I think those are crystals. <laughs> I think that is this crystal here. 
oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I also wrote a quote here that has to do with the new year. I probably looked it up on Pinterest or something. This next page I never finished. Um, this art, no idea who it's by anymore because, you know, I didn't finish it so I never wrote down the artist. Um, I was honestly waiting for this page to dry so that I could go in with my watercolors again and make it better, but I never did. So, um, it never got finished. As you'll see throughout this, um, journal. I had a little bit of rough journaling here at some points, so there were a lot of unfinished things. Um, next up, I had started college, had started the new school, and I just did a little page dedicated to that. And then it was my birthday on January 31st, and so I just printed out a picture of me being me um, and Max Brenner. I also got really sick on my birthday, so love that for me. Uh, next up, we have my January wrap-up, and I literally only read one book in January, so... And then I have my January favorite, so just various different things that I don't even remember that movie's about anymore, but I loved it in January. Um, this is when Emma Chamberlain was first blowing up, yep. And some makeup that I have no idea what these makeup pieces are anymore. Like, is that... I think this was a yellow once upon a dream. Like, what the heck? Anyways, um, moving on into February. I think I got this out of a magazine. We used this for a magazine. It's wrote February 2018 on it. And then I went to the Met with my studio class, took that picture. There's a picture of me. I don't know. February TBR, books that I wanted to read in February. I'm pretty sure I read almost all these except the last one in February. This um, page is a collage of pictures that I had to go to the New York Public Library like picture collection and pick out that like spoke to me and then make a collage out of it. So that's what I did and I spent a lot of time on it so I figured I'd um, print it out and put it in my journal because why not? I also really like how it came out as well. Very true to me. Moving on to this page is when I went to the UN. I don't think I'll ever get to go to the UN again in my lifetime, so I uh, commemorated it in a page, and uh, this is like what I got from it, and some, you know, Snapchats that I printed out. Um, moving on, this is my wrap-up. I never wrote wrap-up title anywhere. I don't know if I had meant to or not, but I didn't, so these are the books that I read in February, what, what month of February? Uh, a wrap-up, by the way, also, if you don't know, is just all the books that I read in the month, a wrap-up. Of them all and then I also had a daily desk calendar from the Met and so it was different art prints every day so I just cut out some of them and put them in there and then I have some February favorites that you can barely even see but honestly this these music favorites fireworks by first aid kit and mystery of love by Swift Jen Stevens give me so much nostalgia like I can't even tell you like it reminds me of walking to class in the very early cold mornings being sick just walking to class, stopping for my latte. I was literally blasting those songs in my ears. Good times. And I don't know why I have a little Martinelli's sticker down there. Just whatever. Weird choices. Moving on to March. I actually really, really like this page. Uh, this is a very cosmic looking spread. These were all done with watercolors. Um, and Oh, and this is the page all done in watercolors. And um, that's what leaked into my full moons page. Yeah, I really liked how this page came out very much my vibes. And there's also a little moon quote over here. So this page I'm gonna have to blur out because it's a little bit of personal stuff. A couple of pages in this journal I will have to blur out because they're just personal stuff and I didn't wanna have the idea that, oh, I'm sharing this, like I shouldn't put it in here. It's still something for me, even though I share it. Yeah, I put them in here anyways, but I'm sure you can understand, right? So yeah, this is basically just an update of what's been going on in my life as of March. And then on the other page, I have a TBR list. Um, I really like how this one turned out. It was also inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. For spring break, I traveled home to Belize and there's a Polaroid of my dog looking absolutely insane. But when doesn't he? It was a very like last minute kind of trip. And when I arrived home, I had a raging fever and my body hurt so bad that I couldn't move. You might be getting the gist of how my year went. Over here, this one is kind of a stupid page. I'm not, I'm not trying to shoot myself down here, but you can't even read the text on this. Like, I have no idea what that says. This page is the moon phase meaning, so just all through. I totally forgot that I did this page, so I actually never used it and never looked back on this. So over here is my March wrap-up, the three, four books that I read in March, and just little stars, star readings. How cute. Oh, 
Good idea, cat. Another page where I'm going to have to blur out, but basically, just like last year in 2017, 2018's April, I literally did no journaling. I didn't journal in 2017's April, nor did I in 2018. So like, I don't know what's up with April. So April's title page took me quite a while because there's a lot of little floral doodles and the background of this is pink watercolor. And I like how this came out. And then on this page, I just kind of put white paper down and just wrote out a list of things that happened. So yeah, moving on to May. Here, uh, this is a magazine cutout from the Fairy Magazine and the artist is down here. And I like how this overall spread came out. This side is a lot of reused materials like this tissue paper and those little stars. Now I actually went out and bought the stars from Michaels. But most of this like that and the stamp even are reused packaging from some stickers that I bought. Next up we have my summer TBR and then I kind of did a similar uh, thing to what I did for April but on a purple background. And then on this page I have just like those knickknacks that just never go away like this. This has literally been bouncing around my stuff for like two years now. This is like from my friend that just, I don't even know how it got into my stuff. Probably should have thrown that away immediately. And then we have a little spread commemorating my time, my first semester at Parsons. So I have a little collage because I'm so extra that I made of like a bunch of different Snapchats from throughout my first semester there. And then a little booklet, which I'm not gonna go through because personal stuff uh, about a brief history of a brief time at Parsons. Then we have June. This is my June title page. This picture I took myself in Central Park after a night where I didn't sleep and so I just decided to go to Central Park really early in the morning. I wrote the photographer of this picture on the back of this picture, but um, as you can see I glued it down so I can't even see who took it. And then I have some lines from a quote that says, she found endless grace in endless unknowns. June was also a really shitty month for me. So um, this next page is a quote that my friend sent me. Allie, love you. Thank you so much for being there for me. But it really stuck with me. So I decided to just put it in my journal and I made this little spread. This paper is Bristol that I glued into the journal and this is watercolors and white jelly roll I wrote in it. Next up, we have this kind of ugly page. I'm not gonna lie. This is also a magazine cutout. I'm I think it might have been from Fairy Magazine, not too sure. But this was supposed to be a list of things to achieve in the summer, and I do this for every season. You'll see another one for fall. Like I said before, June and just also summer in general was just not a great time for me this year. Yeah, I literally only wrote two things down. Over here we have my June wrap up, and I really like how this came out very nice vibes. I basically centered it around this sticker from Stellaire. I'm pretty sure this is one of those free ones that she gives in her orders, so yep. Uh, Jordan Clark shop. That's where I get some of my stickers. July. Um, this is just a nice little night sky looking spread and then a quote, or not even a quote, this was a caption of an Instagram photo by Guinevere Von Sneeden. I think that's still her handle name, not sure, she might have changed it, but I really liked her caption because it was just like a little um, thing to her little girl because she gave birth and had a little girl. So yeah, uh, I just wrote that down because I really liked it. Moving on, <laughs> um, do I have to blur this out? I actually don't know, should I? Are you supposed to? I think I will. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I accidentally caused fraud on my debit card, and so I had to say goodbye to my first ever debit card that I ever got. Um, yeah, so <laughs> being me, I decided to put it in my journal to commemorate it. July 16th is my two year anniversary of booktube, so I thought I would do a little two years on booktube. I didn't know what to put, so it just kind of got left a little bit empty. This next page is completely empty. Um, I didn't know what to put there. I knew I wanted something to be there. I just never did it. Um, so then on the other page here, I have my July wrap up with just a bunch of different doodles. You can barely even see the uh, book titles in here. August, yet another page that I didn't finish. I just really had no idea of what to put here. So I just left it blank in hopes that I would, you know, figure something out in time, but I just didn't. And we continue with the blank pages. This is my reoccurring card. It was just reoccurring so much that I decided to do a little doodle of it and I put it in my journal. And then this page, it was actually not turning out well. I glued this down really well, as you can tell. Um, I had painted, I was, 
I had like a vision in my head of what I wanted to paint there, but I think it was just wasn't turning out right or something, or I just didn't want to do it anymore. Um, so I covered it with Bristol. Honestly, a huge waste of such a big piece of Bristol. Bristol paper is very expensive. So next up, we have this page, which is a watercoloring of a table. This is a watercolor of a table that my friend bought and then we had to take it on the train and the G train in the subways in New York City is actually a very small train like it's not as long as the platform is and I didn't know that because I'd never taken the G before. So we're waiting for this train and it comes and it just zooms past where we're standing. Um, a lot of other people were also standing where we were they didn't know either that the train was going to be so freaking short. So, in order to not miss this train, I picked up her table and ran along the platform to make this train. She was holding my very large latte that I'd gotten, if you can see that little latte there. And it literally felt like divergent, like running for a train. This page... Wait a minute. That picture is the same one as this one. I didn't even realize that I printed it twice or used it twice. I honestly don't know what's going on. But other things on this page are some quotes, like one from Flux by Ryan and one by William Blake. Again, another page where I uh, reuse some materials for some bits. This next page is another one that I'm gonna blur out. I can just put my hand here, save myself some trouble and post here on this like just random piece of cardboard. I wrapped some string around and I wrote like basically how summer sucked. And this is also another piece from my 2017 calendar from Rifle Paper Co. Did I say it was from there? This is a picture by Elle May. I think she changed her last name because she just got married. Watson now. A very moody picture. This was originally supposed to be for a mood board, but I just put it in here because I was feeling a little emo. And I also put a quote that perfectly encapsulated summer of 2018. My life is a perfect graveyard of buried hopes. September, I did a journal with me for this page. So like I said, I'll have a playlist of all my journalings from this past year but yep this is my september title page with some nice little art going on uh september tbr a list of books that i want to read and some little doodles on some thick cardboard that just made my journal really really chunky this is last days of summer literally my last days of summer i was cat sitting for this cat and that cat they were so cute. I didn't even know their names though. <laughs> September 1st uh, are my tarots that I did that day. I usually do a three card spread. But to me, that just means past, present, and future. But I do two future cards, so like optional futures. Billie Eilish, this is when I was really getting into Billie Eilish's music. I really like her music. And my favorite song of hers was Bitches Broken Hearts. And I just wrote some of the lyrics out on this piece of cardboard. Why do I keep using cardboard? Another page that I didn't finish, I just didn't really like how it was turning out. There was also other pieces that I was supposed to attach onto this, but I didn't like it, and I just never came up with something else to put there. But beside it, I have things to achieve this fall. What is this called? Crystal Ball. Uh, and just some various things that I wanted to do this fall. October, I really like this page. I filmed this as well. I really like how it turned out. These two pages, again, I filmed, and this one is a just a little Halloween quote. And then this one is a list of movies that I wanted to watch during the Halloween season, but spoiler alert, didn't watch any of them at all. And I also forgot a bunch of movies that I had meant to put on here. I don't know how. November's title page, another one that I filmed, but this is just a little um, mountain range with the night sky. Um, November, the quote for it was, let's get this bread. So this page is just me talking about K-pop because for the past like two months up until I'd made this, I had been getting into K-pop and so I just figured I would write out what my biases and favorite songs were for this year. So I kept updating this until the end of this journal. I'm probably gonna blur this out because I have a whole video hopefully coming about my K-pop groups and biases and songs that I like, so no spoilers here. <laughs> Moving on, When the Party's Over, which is my favorite Billie Eilish song, came out and I wrote down a couple of my favorite lyrics from that. This page I filmed um, and these are lyrics from Queendom by Aurora, also another one of my favorite female artists. December, I had left this page blank because I wanted to do like nice Christmassy spread, but honestly this Christmas I was not in the mood. Um, another thing that I'm going to have to blur out here, sorry about that, but December was also another rough month for me personally. But um, yeah, I just kind of left it pretty blank. 
November 21st to the 3rd, I just decided to do a little spread of stuff here. I got these stickers from this company here. I went to this nice pasta place that gave out these business cards with these nice pictures on the back. This little envelope here contains just like a thing about, you know, November 21st to December 3rd and what happened then. It's a little, you know, thing for me. Nobody else can read it. And then over here is my first ever Metro card that I had ever gotten in my whole entire life. But the thing is that I usually keep my Metro card in my back pocket and so it got really bent one day and it wouldn't work anymore. So very sad. Moving on. The next page is probably my favorite page of them all in my whole journal because I feel like it really just embodies me. But here it is. I love this page so much. It's so like busy and extra and I love it. So initially this was just supposed to be a list of songs that I was listening to like at the end of 2018 and just to like, you know, be able to look back on. Um, but then honestly, I literally just listened to one playlist, which is this one. So I just decided to turn this into like what I be as of the end of 2018. So been listening, been watching, and been eating. So been listening is literally just this playlist. I did a little doodle of the cover of my playlist. This is on Spotify. I think I still have it on private, so I'll make it public if you would like to see it. It's just basically all the K-pop music that I listen to. And it's called It's Not What It Looks Like because this name was chosen during my denial phase of being into K-pop because it's just such a vast world that it's so intimidating to get into. But I've embraced it fully and I love it so much. But uh, yeah, the playlist. Over here, I've been watching YouTube videos. I've been watching literally all K-pop. Next to us, things that I was watching in Netflix because I literally pay for Netflix every month and I barely use it. So I was watching these Chinese dramas that they have on there, but they are literally so bizarre like the storyline is really weird at some points and the acting is just uh but they're like addicting yeah and then overall this is just i love this very much me some um outer space washi tape some stars from michael's a match don't ask four is my favorite number a piece of crushed velvet fabric a tarot card sticker to cover up a sealing wax stamp that i didn't think went with this page um, more washi tape. This again is from that calendar. Some confetti, a lot of safety pins. And that has brought us to, nope, that is not the end. Next up, another page that I'm gonna have to blur out, but this is basically like a dear 2018 and a little letter um, to the year, you know, from me. And I really liked this little like art that I did around it. It looked very New Year's-y, but I did it on black paper and used some white jelly roll and just like smeared gold paint all over it. Um, and then on this page is a 2018 recap, but leaving out all the bad stuff. I went through my Snapchat and just wrote down all of the good things that happened this year um, and printed that out and put it in this little envelope so that I can look back and only remember the good things. And I really like how these two pages turned out together. And lastly, we have the last page of the whole entire journal. A whole year's worth all over. Since this journal was literally so freaking stuffed, like I stuffed it to the max with all those like random safety pins. <laughs> That's basically it. I have a couple of pages that I didn't want to like take out and you know, completely ruin the spine with. So a few pages will be left empty. I do plan on doing a journal for 2019. I, yes, I do plan on filming that. If you've lasted this long in this video, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Remember to check out my journal with me videos as well as my journaling advice video if you'd like to get into journaling. I have a little video on that and how to get started and that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I was yours on Sunday While we watched the children play We fell deep and love again Like we always do